so now, you know, the, the, the part that unfortunately took the headline mm -hmm. uh, was the Angel Reese. And, and to show you my age, I was just doing our Sorry in Advance podcast with our family. And this whole hand thing is you can't see me. I'm, I'm like, what does you can't see me have to do with what the hell is going on with the court? And it was my son, Mike, who was saying, basically, it means you can't guard me. I'm like, okay, someone okay. say you can't. I, I, I mean. Can I interrupt you for a second, yes. second Mike? Yes, yes. So, so we're calling the um, the regional championship. I'm out in Seattle, and it is Iowa playing Louisville, and it's the first time Caitlin does this. Right, and we're good right. how it is. We roll out to a break with this, and I right. say on air, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I had no idea what it meant. I didn't, and so then people are tweeting at me, you know, oh, it means you know, John Cena, you can't see me, and I said, I still don't understand right, what that me means, too. what it has to do with basketball. So anyway, you and I are together. <laughs> yeah, and then I Mike love was... the layers of confusion happening oh, from it... like I don't even know what this is, and then other people being like, I don't know what this is either, but I'm mad. Like, yeah, but so I, I'm mad she it. did it, you know. And and so I guess just your whole my quick thought is you either like that stuff, hate that stuff, or you're indifferent. Would, would right. I want my kids to do that? Probably not. But I am certainly not going to make that the lead story at all. I'm overseeing youth. So, I mean, I, 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 it doesn't matter enough to me. You, Rebecca, have kids who you are coaching and who are playing. So, you are, oh, when you see something, I, I guess first, how, what did you think about the whole brouhaha? And then how would you approach that with your kids and coaching them? Well, it wasn't a brouhaha in the moment. Like, no. you know, we, we, we called the game. We showed that replay and... That was that. We, we knew what she was doing because, um, you know, we had called the game where Caitlin had done it. So there wasn't a brouhaha within the women's basketball world, you know, until it, it got it, it into social media. So, like, celebrating yourself is not my cup of tea. It's not what I did when I was a player. It's not what I encourage my kids to do. Um, but I don't have a problem, certainly, with with anybody doing it, and I, I would, and I never ever would assign anything towards the person because of what they did on the court. And and we we when we're at the Final Four, get to meet with these teams, get to meet with these players. And Angel Reese is a delight, and she's a smart, thoughtful person. When you're sitting in the meetings talking basketball, and 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 her willingness to include her team and talk about her team in an incredibly generous way. So the frustrating thing is when people then assign whatever they are going to assign to a um, to an athlete and a person because of some sort of celebration that they've done. Yeah, Rebecca, I, this is like an existential question that I've talked to with my other podcast co-host Kate Fagan about too, with so many eyeballs on this game. It almost attracts like the worst aspects of sports media coverage from that we see a lot on like the men's side to the women's side to have these like incendiary reactionary like things where they don't know the player. They don't know her story. They don't know that she's felt snubbed by not being on awards list earlier this season. They don't know Caitlin Clark has been doing this celebration before and that she's been, you know, th showing up three point signal every time she hits a three that like this right. is her style of play too. And so it's like, I, I wonder if there's almost like it it was so popular that it was almost unavoidable that something really stupid, given the, the media landscape and social media and everything like this would happen. Um, I wonder if you have any thoughts at all about that. <laughs> well, it's sometimes people outside of the sport try like to hijack the conversation a little bit. And this and Mike will remember this, you know, for a number of years when when UConn was winning um, championships, uh, the first round of the tournament would come. They were in one seed, and they would destroy the 16 seed. In the conversation, we'd come in on, on you know, the second day of the tournament, and the pervasive conversation is UConn bad for women's basketball. And I would get so frustrated because then we would have, you know, these pregame pre shows or whatever as, in studio, and instead of me breaking down this player or that player, I then have to – answer the stupid narrative is UConn bad for women's basketball. And so I think that's what happened here a little bit too. And, and, and part of it is great. You know, like if, if we get Iowa playing against LSU next year, that would be amazing. This will have led to, to more interest in the game. Um, and, and, 
And whether you like the celebration or don't like the celebration or how it happened, um, the personal nature of it is what is most offensive. And so if you're going to parachute into the sport and comment on how the women play or comment on the celebrations, whatever, that's fine. But the personal attacks um, are, you know, are the part that's troublesome and are the part that, um, you know, you, you, you would almost rather, all right, you can you can stay outside. We don't need you as a fan if this is what you're going to going to bring to the table, because, yes, everybody who is at least partially aware of the sport knew exactly what that interaction was all about, whether you liked it or didn't like it. And I think one of the things that also was getting lost here is the player who it didn't bother was Kayla yes. Clark. Yes. Kayla Clark said it, she didn't even see it. She was headed to her 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 handshake line. She didn't care. So, you know, for the, all the people that are offended on behalf of Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark didn't care. So um, you can choose to, when you're playing pickup to celebrate how you want, you can choose to have your kids celebrate how they want, but don't go attack a 20 year old woman um, in a personal way because you don't like um, the way she celebrated it in one of the biggest moments of her life. Uh, right. I hundred percent agree that, that those people that do the personal attacks, I guess I just consider the source on some of them because it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Right. Uh, and, Rebecca, the, and the yeah. people that tend to say like, Oh, is UConn bad for women's sports oh. are always, of course, they're the people that care the most about like gender equity and, and all right. of the things that, you know, <laughs> all of the things right. that go into that. And that's what's anyways. fueling their commentary right, right. is their deep concern for yes. women's sports. Yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. And, and also the team they root for can't beat UConn. You know, the best way to stop <laughs> UConn is to beat UConn, you know, and, and nobody could do it for a while. So, for and I, time, and, yeah. and as a Notre Dame grad, I had to live through that for years and years. So I feel good about it. I know we should have made a bet this no, year. No, we shouldn't have. No, we shouldn't no, have. You guys beat us. You guys beat UConn oh, this year. Oh, in the, you regular, did, in the regular season. Regular you're season. right. You're right. I, yes. And every time I, I get ballsy and make a bet on Peyton, you're painting my face, <laughs> you know, UConn color. So. Notre Dame's going to be really good next year as long as Olivia's <laughs> healthy, man. Watch out for them. I, ho I hope so. But UConn also is going to be really true. good next year. So I don't. Maybe they'll both be in the final four. We can do a bet. <laughs>